Okay then, so welcome to a video on my trading setup. I've been getting a lot of questions on basically what is my setup, how does it work? So I'm gonna talk about a little bit on the hardware and um, explain the reasoning behind the way I have it set up. This is perfect for me. I've been running this setup for many years, never had an issue. Um, day to day, my screens don't change that much. Um, but I'm gonna talk you through it now and explain basically what you're seeing. So these two screens that are in front of me, obviously this low one and the, and the top one are my main monitors. This center low one is primarily monitor one. So anything that's really important is going through there initially. And uh, when I load up the software, it, it boots from this one across to all of them. And basically what you'll see on my setup, it's pretty basic actually, I've got six Dell screens, I think they're 19 or 20 inch, so not massive, but it's, it's all I need. Um, on here, I've got one screen that is dedicated to the relevant securities that I'm trading at the time or that are on my watch list. So you can see here, I've got things like historical charts, I've got an intraday chart, and that's about it. Nothing too complex. Um, I've got some key metrics, as you can perhaps see, on a certain stock or company that we're looking at, just so I can quickly go to them, because there's a lot of information that as traders we have to remember. So it's good to write it down or have it noted in front of you. That's why I keep a notepad for anything that's really important, gets written in here. And as you can see on this screen, the charts are basic. There's nothing to them. We're not technical traders, but I can glance at this and quickly see pricing and historical charts and that kind of thing. Below it then I've got obviously our currency performance table. So for a lot of the emerging currency pairs that we trade, we've got a trade in the Kenyan shilling at the moment. We can track them and we've got certain metrics. So we've got obviously year to date performance, previous years since Brexit, etc, etc. Um, and that way it's just like you can glance at it and look at the spot rate. We mainly for currencies are trading the spot market, so we're not looking out beyond that or anything like that, so it keeps it quite simple. In terms of the screens, in terms of what else is on this screen, I have custom news feeds set up for various key terms. Um, so a lot of these smaller stocks that we look at, especially the, the UK AIM companies, AQSE listed companies, you'll have keywords that will be flagged up in RNS feeds like corporate warrants, uh, warrants, and so on. And these are really important. Uh, these are things like, you know, when we look at 8.3, 8.5 disclosures, panel of takeover and mergers, all this sort of stuff is really important when we're trading these sort of companies so that we can understand and build a better picture. And then we'll have relevant news for the securities that we're, we're trading in, okay? On my center screen, nothing too complex. I've got a bonds table. So a lot of the stocks that we trade will have convertible bonds attached to them or embedded into them so I can keep track of them. This is just the um, share price on this one, but typically it'll have, again, uh, income yields, things like the coupon, um, when maturity is and so on, just so we can keep tabs on, on that. Um, because we do some convertible bonds, we've got um, various funds that I'd like to track that are in that sector that I can keep an eye on. And then I like to watch the broader ETFs just to keep an eye on the general American equity market and the sentiment. So big ETFs like ARC, for example, I like to track them and whatnot. On my screen above, this is where it gets interesting because the relevant companies that we're trading will have our level two running and we'll have our time and sales alongside it. So we can track orders that are going through the books um, in real time. And that's really important for us. And obviously we, we do a lot of uncrossing trade and things like that at the end of the day. So when I'm trading two, three, four stocks, I will have the time and sales and the level two, usually on this top screen and they will all be lined up. So I can usually have four of them across in one go. Um, and that's really important to be able to do. And then you can see custom feeds for individual companies that we look at. Another big thing is the director um, 
dealings and the, and the major holders of certain securities so we can track them. We can track things like um, the type of deal, whether it's a sale, purchase, uh, size of the deal, hold size, value, all the kind of stuff like that that's really important um, that, we can, that we can keep an eye on, should we say. And that's basically it on the middle screen. Just really reminders of what I'm trading and what I'm looking at. So not really information per se, but just so I can keep tabs. This screen, I've got a generic news feed. This is more major headlines, economy, things like this, just to keep a tab on everything that's going on. This is not really specific to any one company. This feed updates as we go through the day for major headlines. And then I've got a, um, a details for shares. So individual shares, we can pull all the information that we need, key metrics and so on. That's really important to keep tabs on. We've got performance tables for returns for either positions that I'll be trading that's on my watch list or that I'm active in, so I can keep tabs on that. And then again, another form of time and sales that are summarized for each trading day. So this is the time and sales for as the positions move through the market, coupled with your level two. This is for end of day summary. So you'll get high, low, close, total volume, trading volume, size, and then we can work out how much is being pushed through the books and so on. And then again, more custom news feed for individual stocks. Um, and that's about it. So I run this obviously on these six Dell screens. It's running from one graphics uh, computer card, six mini display ports, I believe, and it runs flawlessly. And my setup day to day doesn't change that often. What you see here is typically what I will have. Obviously, what's on the screens changes slightly, but it's actually a pretty basic setup. And then when we drill into certain companies, certain currency pairs for our analysis, we're subscribed to various other media outlets to pull information, just doing our own individual research when we're building a position. Like one of our large trades is the Turkish Lira short that we've been selling since late 2020. That's taken a lot of research and man hours to build that trade, build that currency position. Um, and a lot of it's still running even today, uh, all these years later. So you, 